Hi guys, welcome. I just built an ISO for data. You'll probably recognize the name as the helper on Discord. I did it with the Arclinix app, right? And the Arclinix app is a drop down, and you say build or create in this case. And there it is. I've got an ISO, it's out there. It should still be loaded up. Nope. This version. Choose a disk file. It's gonna go in here. Shared already is uploaded so that beta testers can test it. And we're gonna make how to install, right? How to install Arclinux B Plasma video. Because on the Arclinux B website, there is an article there that says how to build it. The idea of the B was that you build it yourself, add Vivaldi to it, add Chromium to it, add Steam to it, anything you like, and remove anything you like, and then you build it. So the deal here today is that this is open source, and this is Intel, this is AMD, it's all good. This is for the NVIDIA drivers, the newest, and which is providing NVIDIA DKMS, right? All the others, 340, 390, there are a few out there, that's something else, right? And this is if everything fails, if this one fails, that one fails, you need to take that one and then you install your drivers, whatever you need. On VirtualBox, it's this one. And we see all these Spectre version 2 mitigation, just like on Arch, because Arch Linux is Arch. 90% of it is coming for Arch Linux, if not more. And the rest is 5% AOR, some stuff that we like from AOR that we built and put it on the repos. And the others are configs because without a configuration, left WM will not work. OpenMox is basic. i3 is just a nice bar, black screen. I mean, right, you get the message. You need to have configurations for many of the desktops slash tiling window managers. <coughs> we use Calamaris as an installer because it's graphical. The uh, Arch Linux ISO exists we make tutorials how to do it the arch way we make tutorials how to do it with arch install but if this is the first time right moving away from apple moving away from microsoft then going into a black screen into a terminal might be tricky now on kd plasma the newest of today they provide us a nice little welcome and give us some pages and a little mascot and all that if you don't want to see it or you have, have already seen that right let's put it in the video so you read next 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 you absorb the knowledge right still one more and there it is so then you decide either you're on the beach there is no internet you take offline this is always without issues always because it's a bit by bit copy this is is your internet working is a firewall working is vpn necessary is the repo or repos online is there a key other packages problems right this is coming from the internet meaning if everything works <laughs> there is no issue so that's why we recommend if there is an issue and it says so right use easy installation if the advanced installation fails there are so many parameters we don't have control over you don't have control over like countries banning uh, repos and then yeah things will not work now for me basically i will not install anything so going through this is basically yeah probably almost the same we are online right so it's going to update but the iso was just built like five minutes ago so there won't be any updates now uh, what I wanted to say, I would select this one, right? Because of the fact that this is for the developers and the beta testers. This is what I like to add on a real machine, not on a virtual box. So next, next. You decide your keyboard. Next. Erase the disk. I go for X4. Choose whatever you want. Next. And off we go. If you have more computers than one, you should actually give each computer a separate name. There can't be two exactly the same names inside your network. Not if you want to share folders, which is called in Linux Samba. 
SMB for short. Then that matters. We have built a new Calamaris. We also yesterday, and yesterday is look at the date, 4th of May, 303, or was it 330? Updates and a bunch of them was a Python update. So Calamaris needed to be built as well. So this is a good test after the test yesterday of Excel, another test. Plus this was built with AA, right? The Arclex app, which is basically a GUI for our backend script that we use since uh, forever, right? Not much to say, but to say you can have a Toho log. In this case, this is the bit where you do an, a bit by bit or bit by byte, whatever you want to say, but it's syncing something that we've pre-built already, right? It's syncing something to something. And that's it. So what you see, and that's important for you to realize, that's what you're getting. That's what he's doing now. He's doing all of this, putting all of that on the system. And it is decision time. When you build your own ArcLinksB.com, watch the, go to that website and watch the videos. It's super easy to decide not to have Ocular or not to have Firefox or have Vivaldi there or Google Chrome or, or Chromium. I mean, it's up to you to remove and add stuff. The only thing about adding stuff is Pacman needs to know where it is. If it's not on the repos of Arch, if it's not on the repos of Arco, it's up to you to make your own repository. And then it gets complex, right? And then you can't add it, simple. Don't, just don't add it. Because later you got a system and the things that you can't add, pseudo pacman minus S from Celtic repo, for example, with the ATT, you can activate it or you start building, yay. Yay, or Paru minus S something. And then you just make a little script that says run them all and that's it. Another script to say remove them all, for example. Scripting is, is easy. So have a go at it. If we're talking about scripting, think about the Arclinks Nemesis script. So if we've been saying a lot of references to the website and we do have time, so let's have a look. This, we, it was never really our intention to give you B ISOs. The idea was build it yourself. Build it, build your own ISO, right? You can build it in so many things. You can build it in all of these, test it and all. The only thing you need to decide is what desktop will I take? And if you wanna test Hyperland, you will test it on real metal, never on, Hype, on a virtual box or any virtual machine. In the meantime, you see he's busy, right? So if it's done, it's done. So we tell you how to do things here and in this thing, so this video that I'm making now, Control V, Plasma, that's not Plasma, Plasma. So how to build it is, is up here, how to install Arclix B, tips for Arclix essential information. That will go, this will be the one how to install Arclix B Plasma and it will replace this one. So you see gradually, right, we make videos and, and replace them again like let's see what time one year and three months i think i saw three months ago when did we create it hey where are you three months ago there is no creation date not big enough in the meantime we can boot up three months ago i think anyway this will be the video so this is the knowledge, that's where you get it. Let me say that you actually should look at all the websites for new guys. These are, this is where all the knowledge is. And on YouTube, we have a channel and you search on the YouTube channel. You search, hey guys, be quiet. You search here, never here. Trillions of videos, 3,600 videos, now 400 I think, right? 
So that's where you search about Planck. You're interested about information about Planck, right? And even things about three years ago, nothing has really changed about Planck. <laughs> so go and have a look and we have playlists. So have find, try to find your playlist because these are all the stuff about Planck. And that's the only thing we can do to organize all this huge amount of knowledge. Playlist stacks. All right. Let's boot up. And then we know that the Arclix app can build for the probably 10th time already a nice ISO that you can later on use. This is new, nothing to do with us, everything to do with Arch. Plymouth. And there is again the mascot. So skip this time. You can say stop just like this here, out to start, don't want to see this. You can install software. Main thing people want to do always. Yes, I know there is a beautiful graphical application go and script this right go and script this it's much easier and here we have the Archlinks tweet tool also super interesting should I I think I will but I should not give any bias I mean don't follow me right that's the point but what I'll do is do this I'll install this and that's a good test for me as well right it gets the packages and almost done, almost done. Now we have CHDWM in our system. How easy is that? And then I think is the, the basic selling point of um, XD. Well, we have two things now. I can either go graphical or I can go in tiling window manager. And that's good, that's enough, right? choose one said that's my thing from time to time I'll learn a little bit about tiling window manager it's not really yet my thing all these key bindings but gradually right moving it for an hour get out of it plasma again go back in go back out that's how I learned also i3 kind of a love hate story but once you go tiling window manager it's hard to go back all right Enjoy.